To help prevent fraud, you will likely want cards declined where the customer put in the wrong card verification value. I'm going to show you how to do that in your Shopify store. Okay, right now we are just on the home screen of a Shopify store that I no longer use, but we're going to go down into the bottom left corner into settings. Just click that. Once the settings have opened, we are gonna click into payments. You'll see that is about the fifth one down. Okay, now that the payment section has opened, we are gonna click manage. Now that the new page has loaded, we're gonna scroll down to near the bottom. Down near the bottom of the page, we will pay attention to this fraud prevention section. So you will see this decline charges with failed CVV verification. And this is where you would check mark it if you want payments to fail that don't have the correct CVV. Now that's that three digit code on the back of credit cards. You can uncheck mark it if you don't want them to fail. I would keep it check marked because that's something customers should have in front of them. So they should be able to easily get the correct one, if you know what I mean. So you don't want if someone snapped a picture of the front of someone's credit or debit card and it had all the numbers but that CVV, you really don't want them placing an order on your website. There can just be a high likelihood that once that have inputted the incorrect CVV are actually fraud. So you don't want to promote fraudulent charges being made through your website. And I did just want to go over how Shopify explains the CVV. So the card verification value, which is the CVV, the CVV is a three digit or four digit number on the customer's credit card. Credit card companies prohibit the storage of the CVV code. So asking for the CVV is a way of ensuring that a customer has the card physically in their possession. Credit card information stolen from a merchant database is also less useful because it shouldn't contain CVV information. So this is saying, let's say Shopify had gotten hacked and people's stored credit card information was found out and then shared or sold. So the CVV would not be in that information. So people buying or finding this stolen information wouldn't have a bunch of customer CVV code. So if you are making people enter that, you are helping protect those people from someone using that stolen information on your website. Now we are back into the Shopify store. Now if you uncheck mark this or check mark it, make sure it's saved. There'll be a save in this top right corner and there's a save down in the bottom right corner. And again, I would encourage you to keep that check mark to decline charges that fail that CVV verification because if it's someone's actual card, they should be able to get that number fairly easily.